Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour à tous. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning everyone. We're live from Paris. Welcome to this new Clio world premiere. My name is Marco Oranier and I'm thrilled to be your host for this event. A hybrid event allowing us to share this reveal simultaneously in Madrid. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Cologne, willkommen an Sie alle. Milan, grazie mille per essere con noi. London, welcome everyone, but also to be connected from wherever you are. Because yes, Clio lovers have been, can be found everywhere. 16 million units sold worldwide, twice the best car of the year in Europe. Clio is a true bestseller. It was definitely love at first sight, but what is remarkable is that for 32 years, Clio has managed to seduce us again and again generation after generation. Actually, it's a bit like listening to a remix version of that hit song you used to love, or watching the latest series on that movie we just talked about. A brand new experience created upon what we already love and bringing a new energy that vibes with ours. So how is Clio adding a new chapter to its love story? To discover it, please welcome Gilles Vidal, Renault Design Vice President. Bonjour Gilles, merci d'être avec nous. Thank you for uh, being with us. You must be thrilled to be here in this magnificent studio for this nice yes, reveal. Yes, thrilled indeed. Thank you. Gilles, I think we don't need to introduce you as uh, Renault News is quite intense with a lot of exciting reveals at the moment. And so is this one, obviously, because we're talking about a B-segment icon. Gilles, how do you revisit the design of such an icon and make us fall in love again with Clio? <laughs> well, Clio is actually indeed a love story. Uh, it's true in France, obviously. It's true all around Europe. And uh, by the way, there was a few European cities in that amazing movie we just saw. And uh, they are all connected to this. So hello, everyone, again. By the way, you do speak many languages. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, and it was a, a love story all around the world, actually. Um, and the challenge for us was to somehow respect this icon and yet project it into the future with this uh, new design. And, and what a transformation. Could you give us two words to define this new Clio? Two words, I would say precision and uh, boldness. Precision, because we try to sharpen the design, uh, freshen up the design of this car, especially on the front that you can see right now. And boldness, because we did there mix this with uh, the softer shapes that the Clio, uh, Clio has um, uh, historically, which is also a, a strong asset for, for the brand to have this generosity in the design. So those two words, basically. That's definitely eye-catching. And love can't be blind when you see the sporty look of the front end. It has been totally redesigned, right? Yes, um, totally redesigned, and we went for re very strong visual codes. So we took inspiration from uh, streetwear or sportswear uh, to um, develop those very um, geometrical graphics, let's put it this way. And if you look at the front grille, um, it's got um, a fading from chrome to black around the logo to further enhance the dynamic uh, feeling of the front end. Uh, and the logo also pops out because it's surrounded by, by black. Um, if you look at uh, the lower blade also in the uh, body color behind me, it tends to widen the car and to make it sit nicely on the road to give it a very uh, strong uh, stance. And so um, that is the first um, production car in the nouvelle vague of Renault, this new wave of products, uh, to bear those new um, shapes for the day running lights, for the lighting. Uh, you, if you remember, you saw that on the Scenic Vision concept, and the idea was to use our logo, the shape of our logo, and use half of logos to create those shapes. And this way, uh, those signatures belong truly to the brand and are very brand-specific while uh, on the road, on this car and all the others coming. Thank you, Gilles. And so this is an assertive look at the front, but I think we, we're going to talk about the back as well. The rear has yeah. changed also, right? Yes, uh, we changed the rear as well. And um, like the blade on the front, actually, we have those two features in the bumper on the sides to further widen the car and again make it sit nicely on the road. And above that, we made the tail lights uh, clear, crystal clear, to modernize them uh, quite a lot, actually. A sporty look for the ultimate urban car. I think nobody has missed the Esprit Alpine, Trim's mention in the opening movie. 
I think it's a grand premiere for Clio, right? It is actually. We, we launched Esprit Alpine on the uh, Austral, um, and now here it is on the, on the Clio. So the idea with Esprit Alpine is that we have a specific front grille, um, a dark logo, which we uh, call ice black finish. Uh, the, world, the lower blade goes satin grey, and we have, uh, of course, the Alpine badge uh, on the side of the car. In the interior, we pushed the interior uh, very far as well, to, so you can live the Alpine dream, basically. And with very um, high-quality materials, uh, high-quality confections, uh, very technical and graphical patterns uh, with blue stitching that you find on, on, on in the Alpine brand, of course, and the famous A of Alpine um, in the backrest, uh, on the seat, so again, all this to, to get to the Alpine dream, you know, in a Clio. And let's continue dreaming. Shall we talk, Gilles, about this incredible wheel rims? Yeah, actually, we have a whole range of rims all the way up to 17 inches. So we do have 17 inches on the Esprit Alpine, obviously, with a design that's um, coming from the spirit of what they do you know, in the Alpine brand. And we have this interesting feature in the center. It's like a center bolt from, from, from Formula One or racing you know, in Alpine, available in blue or gray, depending on the body color you, you would choose as a customer. And that's for the exterior design. Shall we go now inside and see how technology and design bring the Clio experience to the next level? Yeah, on the, on the interior, we have revamped uh, the interior mainly with screens and uh, materials uh, to further push the, the notion of life on board, which is a very important thing for the Renault brand, to really uh, create a warm and welcoming uh, spirit uh, inside the car. And so a lot of care and attention has been put um, well into the materials, basically. So they are more noble, they are more durable, more sustainable, especially, and with a very high quality uh, standard. And there's a new logo, obviously, on the steering wheel. Absolutely. Did we talk about sustainability? Yes, sustainability is super important for the brand. I mean, for the world, let's put it this way. And so on the Techno Trim version, we have 60% uh, biosourced materials for uh, the seats, the door panels, and the dashboard. Uh, we have no animal leather anymore, uh, which is a very strong standpoint uh, for the brand, which resonates nicely with, with our values. And if we look at the Osprey Alpine now, uh, equally, we've, we've done tremendous efforts. On the seats, for example, the textile on the seats is uh, made of 72% recycled fiber. And the TEP, actually replacing animal leather, uh, is 13% recycled. So we went to the max you can get technically. We hope to go further, of course, in the future. So yes, it is very important for us. Thank you very much, Gilles. Thank you, Thank you for your insights and congratulations for this well, amazing design. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gilles. Now it's time to dive into the technical part. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bruno Vanel, Vice President, Renault Brand Product and Performance. Bonjour Bruno, merci d'être avec nous. Thank you for being with us. You're welcome. So uh, quite excited to be to be here. So for such a reveal. Absolutely, I, I would be very excited as well, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you can't see it, inside this nucleo is where lies the new energy of this love story: the E-Tech full hybrid engine. Yes, indeed. In fact, we've put the uh, latest technology of the E-Tech full hybrid uh, technology we developed into this new Clio. And this is the perfect combination, in fact, between driving pleasure, fun to drive, I could say va, -va voom also for some of our friends, uh, and the fuel, fuel efficiency, the low fuel consumption. Let me give you a, a couple of examples. Uh, you have 145 horsepower, but more important is about the torque. You've got the traditional engine, which will develop about 150 newton meter of torque, and you add to this traditional engine, an electric machine which develops up to 200, uh, around 200 newton meter of torque. So you can imagine in terms of fitting the kind of driving pleasure it can provide. Uh, but in, this is in combination with a very low fuel consumption. When I'm saying very low, it's 4.1 liter per 100 kilometer. This is an equivalent of 93 gram of CO2. So uh, in reality, what it will provide the customer with it's not only a very low fuel consumption, but very long range. You can drive for long journey up to 900 or even 950 kilometers just without refueling. And this allows you to go to the highway, to go to the city, and in the city, 
uh, as, it, uh, as it is mentioned, I think, it's up to 80% of the, tri the time driving on pure electric mode. This is what it provides the customer with. This is absolutely impressive. Thank you, Bruno. And as Clio must remain a suitable match for each Clio lover, I think you have developed a complete powertrain offer for your customers, right? Definitely. We, we, we did that because the Clio is supposed to, to address a, a very wide range of customers from fleet or retail customers going on highway, city usage. So we've developed a comprehensive range addressing all usages. So uh, whether it is a e-tech full hybrid, obviously, but also uh, we've got the uh, gasoline, the, the uh, diesel, and also a very specific LPG offer. And this LPG offer, thanks to the uh, two onboard tank, will allow the customer to drive up to 1,100 kilometers uh, without refueling. And uh, this is also an equivalent of 107 gram of CO2 for 100 kilometer, which is absolutely remarkable. And not only you take care about the environment, but also about our pleasure as customers. So technology on board. Technology is definitely a, a Clio strength. So we want to be and we want to retain this kind of leadership in terms of what we call digital life. And to do so, we've introduced a, a couple of features. We've introduced the wireless replication in the Clio, which means that you can replicate your smartphone on the central screen without any cable. On top of that, all the clusters, you know, the clusters in front of the drivers will be digital and will have from the lower to the upper trim, seven inch uh, digital clusters or even 10 inch digital clusters. So digital all across the, the lineup. And I will just remind you about the central screen. We've got up to 9.3 inch central screen, which is huge, which is a reference since uh, the launch of the Clio. And I could also mention a couple of very convenient features which uh, enhance this digital life, like the, uh, you know, the keyless system, which we have, which allows you to enter the Clio, uh, unlocking the car just by pulling uh, the handle, having the, the badge in the, in the pocket, but also the car will automatically uh, lock itself when you walk away from the car. This is to make it even more convenient and even more digital. I think you've definitely convinced me I need to, to try one of those. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, uh, we must. <laughs> Jill just mentioned it. How is Clio paving its way to sustainability with the Renault brand? So Clio is an icon of the Renault brand. So it's a really a, a reference in itself. It's an icon among also the, the small cars. As, a, as an icon or reference, it's paving the way for new trends. And for the brand, it's the sustainability, which is so important, which is a, a very clear brand marker. So we'll gradually, uh, I mean, get rid of the leather, which the Clio is also showing, and introduce more and more biosourced uh, material and recycled material in the cars. So this is the first step into that. But Clio has always been, in fact, the pathfinder for the, for the Renault brand. Just think that a little bit more than two years ago, we introduced in the new Clio for the first time the E-Tech full hybrid technology with such a great success. Thank you very much, Bruno. And now I'd like to ask you the same question I asked Gilles before. Can you give us two words to describe this amazing new car? Okay, I, I'll take also the challenge to, to find the two, two words. If I take two words, uh, as Clio is an icon, and it is really a reference, and a reference in the, uh, I would say, versatile compact car, the B-segment uh, category, and we've made it, and this is the second word, even more efficient. So on top of uh, its driving pleasure, it's fun to drive, we've made it extremely efficient and this is the the second one thank you very much bruno for your technical insights on this part you're welcome thank you very much thank you and now ladies and gentlemen for a word of conclusion please welcome fabrice cambolive renault ceo brand Bonjour Fabrice, thank you Bonjour, for uh, hello. being with us. It's a pleasure. So it seems that we've, we've talked about a love story. It seems that Clio has actually managed to create actually a never ending love story with its customers. I guess you agree? Sure, sure. It's a never ending uh, story, a uh, love story for Clio since uh, 30 years, 32 years now, 43 years today. Uh, I think uh, Clio was the uh, best selling French uh, 
car inventory with uh, 16 million of units in Europe and in the world. And I'm sure that uh, you in uh, London, in Köln, in Milan, in Madrid, you have all a love story linked with Clio. I actually have one. I, I grew up in Madrid, as, as you know, and my mom had a white Clio, so my, all my childhood was linked to, to that memory. Qué bueno, he vivido también en Madrid. Así que saludamos Buenas a todos los españoles que nos están viendo. Ich, ich habe auch in Köln gewohnt, ja? das bedeutet, ich werde auch... Uh, ich in Berlin, oh, genau. Ah, super. Bon, wir machen keinen Challenge. Nein, nein, nein. Okay. C'è anche nostri amici italiani, buongiorno, perché sennò non possiamo anche dimenticare gli italiani, no? Bueno, okay. uh, no, vabbè, sorry. This is your question. No, no, we, we, yeah, <laughs> let's get back to English. The question is, we all have this love story with the car, but what about this one? Why should we love this car? But when I look at the car, I would say uh, first, uh, coup de foudre, love at first sight, uh, because of the design. And uh, Gilles explained that very well. It's bold, it's precise, it's uh, robust, it's uh, the nouvelle vague. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, okay, we want to own it. And the second reason, and I will come back on uh, what Bruno said, which is a revolution, it's a la tout d'une grande, but this time, not only for the best level of equipment, but also for the engine. Uh, uh, we, it's time to speak about engine, and I think that uh, the re revolution with the full hybrid technology is there to replace diesel version. Uh, we will have, with this engine, the capacity to get autonomy, to get one of the best consumption in the market with 4.1 liter per 100 kilometer, and the lowest uh, level of CO2 with uh, 93 gram. It means all the reasons to put Clio once again as elle a tout d'une grande with its versatility. I'm already in love. Thank you. Well, it's official. This car, this new Clio, has just been added to Renault Brand's exciting current events. A few words about uh, what awaits us in the future, about this new dynamic. First of all, we went through uh, two very uh, challenging years because we just achieved to launch our, uh, what I would say, our magic square on the C segment with uh, Arcana first, uh, after that uh, Meganitech, then Austral, uh, and now, and to, uh, tomorrow, Espace. And now we are coming back with Clio on the B segment, and I think it's a very, very challenging period, and we are very, very positive on that. Thank you very much, Fabrice. I wish you the best of luck for you and your teams with this new amazing car. Thanks a lot. Thank you so Marco. much. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to conclude this event with another preview the vehicle reveal movie of the new Clio. Ladies and gentlemen, here is more Clio to love.